Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 10th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will see rising moisture levels in coming days with better rain chances ahead. And the tropics are very active, as you might expect, on the 10th of September. So let's dive in and talk about it. That cold upper low is still back in the western states around the Four Corners. But across the southeastern states, the ridge holding that front will not make it in here. So we'll stay in the 80s for a while. A quiet early morning, that was the radar composite at 448. We'll see a few scattered showers around later today. Temperatures early this morning are in the upper 60s and low 70s for most spots. Highs today should be in the upper 80s, very close to seasonal levels for this time of the year based on averages. There's the watch warning map, flash flood watches, parts of the middle Atlantic coast region, parts of south Texas. Still got winter storm warnings uh, for parts of Colorado, although that storm is starting to wind down. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No organized severe weather expected across the country. This is tomorrow, and this is Saturday, a marginal risk for places like Cleveland and Detroit up north of here. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain beginning to pick up around here. Rain totals for the state between one and two inches. We note the heavier totals offshore south of the Gulf Coast. That's with a tropical wave that we'll need to talk about here. In fact, here's the big picture. We've got three waves and two tropical storms on the board. A lot of things are happening here. Uh, this is the five-day outlook. And uh, again, the, the one feature, of course, that interests us, it's that uh, uh, tropical wave that NHC now identifies just east of the Bahamas. And that will be moving westward into the eastern Gulf of Mexico in a few days. And that could bring enhanced moisture to parts of Alabama. Uh, over the weekend and next week. Not so sure that develops, only a low chance over the next five days. But, again, it could bring deeper tropical moisture up into the state. But we'll watch that. And also that uh, wave coming into the Carolinas will probably not develop, only a 10% chance. It's mainly a rainmaker for them. Uh, and then out in the eastern part of the basin, that wave coming off the African continent, very well organized, that will likely become a storm. The name will be Sally for that one. And then there's also a little wheat wave that's around the uh, Cape Verde Islands. But we'll focus on the uh, two tropical storms. First off, Paulette, the uh, max winds are now 60 miles an hour. The Hurricane Center actually brings this the hurricane strength now by Sunday night into a point near Bermuda. In fact, they've got that thing right on top of Bermuda. Monday night of next week is a, is a hurricane. Uh, understand this forecast will probably change. Bermuda is just a little speck out there in the Atlantic Basin. But if you're in Bermuda, you'll need to watch that. But then after that, this, this should recurve sharply into the open Atlantic. Only one member of the GFS ensemble brings it to the U.S. Uh, the likelihood of recurvature very, very high here with Paulette. Here's the intensity guidance. And again, you can see conditions do favor strengthening uh, in about four days up to a Category 1 hurricane strength. And that's when this thing should be close to Bermuda. Now, this is the other one out there, Tropical Storm Renee. This is a weak system with 40-mile-per-hour winds. Could briefly become a hurricane on Saturday before weakening again. Gains latitude, kind of hangs out in the middle of nowhere. Don't expect that to be a threat to land. The intensity guidance for Renee, uh, the models keep it a tropical storm except for one for the next five days. But again, this should stay far from land. So let's dive into the GFS. This is the 06C run 4 o'clock today, upper low over the western states, ridging here. And again, higher moisture levels, so we'll probably see a few scattered showers later today. But many places will stay dry, partially sunny, upper 80s. Pretty much the same thing tomorrow. Moisture may be a bit deeper. The chance of any one spot getting a shower today, probably about 25% tomorrow, around 30%. And then this is Saturday, and this is when the moisture levels really start to uh, increase. And again, we stress the weekend's not going to be a washout again. This is Saturday, and this is Sunday. But the sky will be cloudy at times, and we'll have scattered to numerous showers and storms around both days with highs in the low and mid-80s with only a limited amount of sunshine. Go to Monday, pretty much the same deal. Pretty moist air mass in place. So, uh, And we'll see that through the week. Here's Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. A mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms each day. And this is a week from today. This is Thursday the 17th. Big trough in the west. 
ridge here in the southeast. And again, the weather's just not going to change much. Partly sunny with scattered showers and storms. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 19th. At upper low, still just hanging around the western states. The ridge hanging around here, 591 Ridge. And that would suggest warm weather with a few scattered showers over the northwestern part of the state and highs in the 80s. And we note a little uh, tropical feature that's near Jamaica. But this is 10 days out, and this is nothing more than voodoo. Here's a look at the uh, rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 2 and 3 inches. Some of the members exceed 4 inches for the next 15 days. And the NBM running a little too hot here. It's got 90 today, 91 tomorrow. We think we'll be in the 80s, and the numbers come down next week slowly. And the CPC outlook, September 17th through the 23rd, suggesting temperatures here could be a smidgen above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.